Hi guys, welcome to today's video. And now, uh, just before, um, look at that messy bun back there. Before I get into um, what today's video is about, what do you guys think of my hand-painted sign? I kind of messed up on the spacing right about here, but besides that, it's not too bad. I could have spaced out the letters a whole lot more, but I wasn't about to restart. I invested like 30 minutes into this. But what do you guys think? Leave me your opinion in the comment section below. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so for today, um, it's going to be kind of short and sweet, and it's just going to be a very basic video compared to some of my other videos, but I'm going to be testing these two face masks, like actual hello masks, like I've, ne I've never used an actual mask, I've always used like a scrub or um, the ones that you like peel off, like the charcoal ones, what's the other one that I've done? The ones that you like rub on and then you rinse off with water. These are legit sheet masks. Now, I think the way that I'm going to do it is um, the aloe first and the pomegranate. And these are both by Bio Republic Skincare. I will leave the link to these below so you can snag yourself some. Make it super easy. And this one is for after sun. I haven't been in the sun today, but... I feel like this one is going to be for like, um, this one's revitalizing and then this one is illuminating. So I feel that this one should be first and then the illuminating should be second. Yeah. Because you want to revitalize and then illuminate. So without further ado, let's get started. So as I was saying, I've never used one of these before where it actually sits on the face. Kind of like Sophia Nygaard did when she made her own out of like Mountain Dew and all that crazy stuff. Um, it says, mask infused with natural aloe vera juice and vitamin E. Soothes dry skin, perfect for after sun use. Provides a healthy, revitalized, lush skin. A biodegradable fiber mask that snugly fits the contour of any face, ensuring opti optimal delivery of vital nutrients to the skin. So it says, to unfold mask and apply on clean, dry skin. Hello, I'm ready. Wear a mask for wear a mask and relax for 15 to 20 minutes. Remove mask and massage excess serum into skin. No need to rinse. Can I just say how crazy she looks? Does she not look like super ridiculously angry? Like look she's like clean my face. Anyway, moving right along. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. Oh, okay. Something a little different than I was picturing. So this is what it looks like. Like I've said, I've seen people do it, but I've never actually wore one myself, attempting not to rip it. Okay, this is very difficult to open without ripping it. There we go. So this is what the mask looks, straight up looks like something that you'd use for Halloween. Um, does it not? So I'm just gonna kind of, oh my goodness. It's so cold, first of all. And I'm gonna pull it away from my eyes. And then it says just a smooth, oh, not to my mouth. Oh, that does not taste good. So I'm just gonna smooth it onto my face. And the next time I'll see you, I'll be peeling this bad boy off. See you So I'm about five minutes in, and it's starting to wrinkle a little bit. Which it said it was normal on the package, if it does that. Um, it is very jelly. Uh, it is made out of all organic fibers. I can tell you this, it smells like, kind of like a sunset beach almost. It has that sort of vibe to it. It smells very delicious, and I keep having to do one of these numbers, kind of recontour it to my face, because I have a tiny face. But besides that, I don't feel any irritation or redness, which is great. Um, 
but overall I like the feeling of it so far. So. so it has been about 15 minutes and as you can see she is just falling apart. So I'm going to take off the mask. Ooh. Feel refreshed already. And uh, it says just to rub in the excess serum, but since I'm gonna do another one, I figured I would just finish patting this one in. Now I am going to give my skin just a little break to absorb everything that was in that aloe mask. So I'm going to wait about five minutes before I go to this pomegranate crush one, which I'm really excited about. Because who doesn't love pomegranates? And who doesn't love, let's see. These are, who who doesn't love um, roses, which is another thing that's on here. So it's dermatologist tested and approved, formulated without parabens, and it's cruelty free. So I'm very excited to My use these. It does feel very um, hydrated. And the only thing that I notice is one of my little breakout areas right here, as you can see. I think that's from the uh, cheap foundation that I use, to be honest. Right here. Um, it's just a little sensitive, but I think that'll go away within the five minutes that I'm waiting to do this. This one. So, besides the little um, irritation right here, just because I think it was like fresh, because I have a tendency to sleep with my makeup on, which I know is not good for your skin, but sometimes I just forget. So, this one, which is a Pomegranate Crush by Bio Republic. They're both by Bio Republic, by the way. It says it's a mask infused with natural pomegranate and other vitamins. Brightens and energizes skin tone, evens and smooths complexion for radiant, fresh, and balanced skin. And then it says the same about contours to the face, delivery of vital nutrients, all that good stuff. And it also does have witch hazel in it, which is a type of um, isopropyl alcohol, I do believe, that is cleansing. So let's get to it. So this is the um, pomegranate crush one, and I'm just going to open it up if I can with these crazy long nails that I have right now. Okay, let's try this side. Much better. And this is what it looks like inside the package. It's a little sanitary mask. If I can get it out, show you guys. It's a sanitary mask in there. And then you just pull it out like this. I kind of wish they were tinted, like the aloe vera one was green. Oh, this one? Nope, that's just my fingers showing through. Never mind. I wish they were tinted. I haven't quite got the trick to unfolding these. And then you just do one of these numbers. You fold the cheeks down. And. Come on, mouth. Cooperate. And. Uh, ooh, this one smells like super light pomegranates. Mmm. So I want to make sure everything is open so it clings to the face correctly, is what the directions say. So I'm taking my time to unfold everything. This is the last one where I just kind of threw it on my face. And then I line up the eyes and the nose. Press it into the skin. Make sure it's not anywhere super close to your eyes. And then... Let's do what are these numbers. And I got it in my mouth again. Like I said, I'm not an expert at these. This is only my second one. And I think this one honestly looks better than the first one that I did that looked absolutely terrible. So my first thoughts on this one is that, it's the tissue paper, not the mask. But this one definitely clings a whole lot better. It feels a whole lot more natural. And it smells pure. Oh, I'm eating it. And it says you can do it up to three times a week. And 
that it is really good for dehydrated skin. So I'm going to let this one sit on for 15 minutes as well. And I will be back then. So next time you see me, I will be peeling this off my face and giving my final review of both of these masks. Okay, so it has been 15 wonderful minutes later and I'm just going to peel from the forehead down. Does that not look like something you could just throw on and wear to a Halloween party? I mean, I'm just saying. Now this one I am going to rub into my skin a little bit and then I am going to blot um, all this excess. Oh gosh, that's not very appealing. Go away. I'm going to blot um, away the excess serum as it says. You know what, I'm just gonna rub it in because uh, this face needs some moisture. So overall, my opinion on these Bio, Bio Republic, yeah, that's what it's called, good job, Bio Republic um, skincare masks. Uh, the order that I did it in is Aloe Rescue and then the Pomegranate Crush. So it went like this. This is number one, this is number two. The first one I thought was very seeped in of um, the serum, and I think that's just because if you've been out in the sun all day or if you have a sunburn on your face, it's meant to like really moisturize and cling to, and that's still kind of sticky. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm sure you can. But anyway, I digress. Um, there was just a lot of serum on this one. But overall, I really did like it. Another thing that I liked is that there was no caffeine in these. A lot of companies put caffeine in their face mask, which is why I kind of don't use them. It's because I don't drink, eat, I don't do caffeine. It's not me. Um, they were super easy to use. Uh, they were ready to use straight out of the package. I like that they were in this little sanitary foil pouch that you could just rip open. Very convenient. Um, it was a little hard to fold out in the first um, couple of attempts that I did off camera, but once I figured out how to do it, not a problem. Um, the second one, which is the Pomegranate Crush, felt really, really natural and nice on the face. It felt very well rounded. It, it almost feel like it, it fit to my face a little more. Um, as you saw, the, the aloe one, which is this one, um, kind of had a lot like it was going way down my neck and kind of into my decolletage area like it was huge on me so I don't know if these are one size fits all or it says they're the same size but I don't believe it like the first one was just so big on me but the pomegranate one wasn't bad at all in fact I would buy this again um so um my final comments are, this one is very hydrating, it is um, very wet, and it does fit to um, larger faces, it definitely has a lot of aloe in it, you can smell it, and you can feel that kind of um, gel texture, I don't know if there's any left, I guess that there's a lot, there's, um, it's very, very thin and runny which is what I think made it kind of get a little bigger on my face as I was wearing it. But um, on to the second one and the final one, the Pomegranate Crush. I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, it almost smelled like a fruit garden. It smelled really nice and it also fit snug onto the face. It did a very good job at hydrating the face and um, as you can see, these are, it's kind of reducing in redness now. So overall, I would do the pomegranate one over the aloe rescue, but that's just me. When I go out in the sun, I wear a lot of sunscreen because I am very protective of this skin. Because don't want, it was almost like giving my face like a, a facelift. Because it was very, I know I keep saying this, hydrating, but it really was. So, check the description box below for the links directly to both of these masks, which are uh, single, single use, single serve, single serve, we're not talking about ice cream here, Heather, 
But anyway, um, I really hope you guys try these out with me and let me know your opinion down below. That would be awesome. And I would also like to know what you guys think of my custom sign. I know I said this in the beginning. It probably looks like this is a shot right here, but you can tell my skin is much shinier, much fuller. And even the little bags under my eyes are gone, which is really nice. Even though the lighting in here is not very well, but you can see pretty much just moisturized, which is what I'm looking for. So, custom sign. Uh, the masks are in the description box, as are all my products of each video. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to check out my latest video, which is somewhere over here, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.